All right, so here's the before for this little experiment I'm doing. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I'm gonna see how big the pump can be uh, for my arms. I'm gonna do a dedicated arm day today. I haven't done one in a long, long time. Uh, and I didn't do arms yesterday. I, I did uh, chest and upper back yesterday. And then tomorrow is deadlift day, it's power day. But anyway, that'll be explained in lean mass. Uh, and also, I'm gonna have a power day also in uh, max strength. Anyway, um, I have my automatic tape, and I am gonna set it up so you guys can see. And right now, if you can see that, oh, let's get it, let's get an angle right. Right now, it's about 17 inches, 17 inches on the nose. So what I'm gonna try to do is go in here, and I'm gonna do a full arm workout, and then I'm gonna see. Uh, exactly what it is right afterwards, and then I'll film it and with that. So, away we go. Whew. All right, here we are. I just did week six, phase three of Every Damn Day Fitness Volume Training, Arm Day. Uh, it was about 800 reps uh, with drop supersets and supersets and all sorts of crazy shit. So, uh, we measured earlier, it was right at 17 inches, right at like maybe 16 and 7 eighths inches was my left arm. So, right now, after 45 minutes, same measuring tape. Same arm, make sure we get it straight up and down, get it right on the peak, and I'll take a look in the camera, make sure we get it straight up and down. We got about, if you can see this, about 18 and a quarter, 18 and a quarter for my arm. That's, uh, that's about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of volume of blood and stuff like that placed into my uh, arm in the course of this workout. So the pump is real. Uh, supplements beforehand, I took my creatine and beta alanine for the day, uh, a couple cups of coffee uh, earlier this morning, and then uh, about 200 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, no citrulline malate today, which I, next time I do this, I gotta do it on citrulline malate just to see if there's a difference. Uh, that'll help me out because I actually believe there is a volumizing difference in uh, citrulline malate, but I'll do the same exact thing next week with citrulline malate. I'll take six grams of that, and besides that, uh, it's just been a normal day. Last night, uh, ate a normal, you know, ate normal yesterday, didn't carb up or anything like that. So uh, it was about 2,500 calories, somewhere in there. My maintenance calories is about 25. And uh, it consisted of protein, fats, carbs, good mix of each. About 170 grams of protein, 170, 175 grams of protein, I think. And it was about 60 grams of fats, which is about 540 calories. And then I made up the rest in carbohydrates. So. Uh, just a little experiment. We're going to keep doing stuff like this every now and then. Uh, it's, you know, it's a good way to measure exactly where you're at. Because a lot of times you see on camera, like guys volumize themselves, pump themselves up, and do shit like that. But you really, really got to take it like when you're cold and when you're, uh, when you're pumped up just to get an actual real difference. Anyway, my name's Alan Roberts. Every Damn Day Fitness. Like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fit. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. Goddamn.